Well, hi there, and welcome to Chess Base Workshop. I'm Steve Lopez. Thank you for joining us for this presentation. Part of a series, a three-part series, on how to use Chess Base tutorial DVDs uh, in various forms of our software. Last time around, we looked at Chess Base Lite 2009, a set of procedures that also applies to Chess Base, well, 6 through 10. In this case, now we're looking at the latest and greatest. This is Chess Base 11. This is the database desktop. And I'm going to show you how to look at Chess Base tutorial videos from our DVDs in Chess Base 11. The procedure is actually very simple. What you're going to start with is something like this. This is the database desktop. And this is uh, showing all of your different databases. The way you get to the DVD, number one, put the DVD in the drive. When you close the little drive door, you wait, you hear the DVD start spinning, and you're going to get a pop-up, more than likely, on your screen. It's, it's going to be the auto-run or auto-play. Microsoft has changed the name a couple of times. Uh, the auto-play pop-up will come up asking you if you want to install some software. Don't install anything. If you've got Chessbase 11, you don't need to install any software. The information is going to be read right off of the DVD. The DVD I'm using, by the way, today is the brand new, at least, for me, I got this about a month ago, so it's still kind of new to me. Chess Base Tutorials Openings, number one, the open games. Really cool concept in Chess Base Tutorial videos because usually you'll get a disc on an opening, one particular opening, and we're talking usually four or five hours, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, on a particular opening, which is fine. If you are going to become a specialist in that opening, that's perfect. For guys like me that like to hack around with different openings, I like to play different stuff. I like to vary up my opening play. I never get, I never become an expert in any particular opening, but I do get kind of a broader range of openings in my repertoire. This kind of thing is perfect because what each of these videos is is about 15 or 20 minutes with the basics on a number of different openings. It's a really cool concept. I'll show you some of it here, but we got to get to it first. So what I've done is I've already put the DVD in the drive. That way I don't have to worry with the auto run pop-up. I've already busted through that and gone into Chess Base 11. The way you get to it, and this is very similar to what we saw last time around in Chess Base Lite, okay? and that's this. You go over here to Computer. There's a couple different things you can do here. If you click on the little plus sign next to the word Computer, you get a list of all the drives in your computer, or you can click directly once, directly on the word Computer, just single click, and this view changes to display the drives on your computer. I have three drives on this laptop. Uh, my regular C drive, uh, that little phantom virtual recovery drive that they come, that comes in all your computers now, and then there's the DVD drive, Tutorials E. Now the exact entry here is going to vary. If you've got a disk on the Open Roy Lopez, it may say Open Roy, and if you've got a whole bunch of drives or they're just lettered differently, you may see F or G or whatever. It, you get the point, though. What you're going to see is you're going to see the short name of the disk you're looking at as well as the letter of your DVD drive on your computer. The exact wording is going to change depending on your computer and the disk hate to belabor that point, but that does confuse some people from time to time, so I want to bring that up. What you do then, very simply, is you can either click here or click here. I'll go over here, just click on Tutorials E, and wait for my display to change, and it gives me some folders, and it gives me a database opening Tutorials1.cbh. That's what you want, okay? Uh, MSI stuff and setup have to deal with installing the default chess-based light software. You don't need to fool with that. Pocket Fritz Media, you don't need to fool with that unless you're using Pocket Fritz. And there's a whole, that's a whole other can of worms. We're not going there at the present time, particularly because this is a relatively new development, by the way, also. Uh, a lot of these older disks don't have this on there. So we're just looking to get you into the videos using your, de your desktop or laptop computer. Opening tutorials one cbh if you single click on it, of course, down here at the bottom, you get a game list for it. As we did last time around, you want to double click. You're going to get one of two views, as we saw last time. It's either going to jump you right into the table of contents for the disk, or you may get a game list instead. If you get the game list, typically the game list of one of these video disks, the very first entry is going to say text. And that is typically the table of contents for that particular disk. The first entry in the game list will be a text entry. 
That'll be the table of contents. You can either double click right on it in the game list or you can just click the text tab across the top here. All these different tabs in the game list. Click the text tab and it will typically jump you right into the table of contents. As we saw last time around also, the table of contents, the way it looks, it, it varies. You know, some of them just give a description of, you know, you won't always see a chessboard. Sometimes you'll see a description of the variation in question, maybe a string of moves, whatever. What you're really interested in is over here on the right. You've got a bunch of pictures of a face. That's the instructor for each of these videos, and this particular disc has a bunch of different instructors, so we have a bunch of different faces. And what you want to do is you want to go right to a face and click on it. In this case, we're going to look at Lawrence Trent talking about the two nice defense 4D4 variation. I will tell you, as you saw last week, you're not going to be able to hear him on this video. It's because of my video capture software. Okay? You'll, you'll hear him on your computer as long as you got your sound turned up. Trust me. We'll click on it. It jumps to this view. And he's going to start talking. Here we are again, and now we're going to have a look at the two nights defense. And I'm going to turn this up a little bit. I'm going to take my headphones off, so you're going to hear a rattle. But I'm going to see if I can get you to where you can hear him a little bit better. I'm going to turn it back down and put my headphones back on so I don't go deaf. I don't know if you could hear that or not. I'll double check that when I when I go back and listen to my video. Um, I need to just turn it way down because I can't listen to him and talk to you at the same time. I'm not that bright. Basically, what you do in the video screen, I didn't talk about this last time around. Last time around, I just talked about how to get into the video. But you do have some things you can do here, ways to control the video output. One of them you just saw is you do have a slider here that allows you to turn it up and turn it down and this little speaker cone here click on it and it mutes it so he's still talking but now I'm about I'm at a point where I don't have to worry about losing my sanity. Um, I was trying to talk to you and as I said he's booming in my headphones. Um, you can hear it because the software that I'm using doesn't allow you to hear my microphone and his commentary at the same time. So I, tur I turn the mute on. That's why he's talking and you're not hearing him. You do have a slider here. You can slide back and forth through the video. Sometimes when you slide, it doesn't just jump to that point right away. Sometimes there's a little delay because it is reading this information right off of the DVD. You also have uh, your typical Windows Media Player type uh, buttons down here at the bottom. You can pause it, um, as I've just done. You can stop it totally. You can click play to resume it, and open allows you to go to, go to different places on your on your uh, DVD drive. Um, the reason why this green bar keeps going is what it's doing is it's loading this video. This video is 16 minutes and 16 seconds long, and what it's doing is it's caching this video. It's loading it, caching it into temporary memory on your hard drive, and allowing the video to play faster by ca by moving ahead and caching the video. That's why the green bar keeps going, even though I've paused it and turned the sound down. What you may have noticed, uh, in spite of my jabbering, is that as he's talking and playing through the game, we'll start it again, you're seeing the pieces moving on the board. Basically, he's instructing you, but instead of using a wall board, as you would see at a lecture, or some old chess videos from the 90s, some of the, the VHS videos you can pop into your drive, um, your chess board right there on the screen changes and follows along with his commentary. What you're actually seeing is this fellow, International Master Trent, manipulating the pieces, drawing arrows, coloring squares. That's why you're seeing him looking over and moving the mouse and doing things. You're actually He's actually doing what you're seeing on the screen uh, in a studio. And then there's uh, the cool little secret stuff in our software allows it to appear on your screen exactly the way he's clicking on stuff and moving things around in the chess based studios. It's a really cool way to learn. You just kick back and let him lecture, let him talk, let him teach you, and you just watch the screen and follow along. It's really neat. So that's the way the videos work, basically. You can turn the sound up and down. This button, the speaker cone, turns the mute on or off. I've got it muted, like I said. I cannot hear myself think with him booming in my headphones. 
uh, and then you have your uh, your regular video buttons here, play, stop, pause. You've got a little timer here that tells you the length of the video, 16 minutes, 16 seconds, and he's three minutes into the presentation, just over three minutes in. And you can grab this bar and you can scroll and jump to different places in the video. I don't want to touch that, and I'll tell you why. Uh, with my video capture software running, I'm liable to scroll, get a black screen, have to wait a minute or two for it to come up and start playing again. Uh, I'm just kind of overloading this this laptop at the present moment. But you can jump to different places in the video by using the slider. Very simple. Now what happens when he's done talking or you're done watching? Basically, once the video ends, I'll click stop and we'll just stop it here. All you have to do is go up here to the upper corner, close the window, takes you back to your table of contents. You can watch another video, scroll to a different spot. Oh, we can come way down here. There we go. Um, Roy Lopez Berlin Defense or the Schleeman. That ought to be fun to watch. I'm going to take a look at that later. The Schleeman's pretty wild. Um, any of these videos can be watched just by clicking on a face and then the video loads and you just sit back and learn. Very simple stuff. Click to get out, you get to your table of contents. Assuming you're done, you want to go back to the main database desktop screen. You just click the close button up here. There's your database desktop. Of course, it's not showing your normal databases. So what happens now? Well, that's pretty easy. You just go over to your left hand pane and click my databases. Just single click on it. And now your normal databases come back up. Real simple stuff. Uh, nothing to it. It gets a little bit more complicated, just a hair. There's a couple of extra steps in the Fritz family of playing programs. The reason being is that the Fritz family of playing programs does not have a database desktop. So that makes things a little more, little more confusing. But we will fix that and, and uh, dispel that confusion, clear it up for you in the next video. So until next time for Chess Base Workshop, I'm Steve Lopez. Till we get together again, please have fun.